Hey guys, we're here today in Valheim to check out wall durability to find out which one is the most space efficient and what walls are the strongest. I took all the possible wall options and hit them with somewhat stronger weapons until they got low health and then I punched them with my fists to deal minor damage until they were broke to get the most accurate estimate of what their overall health is. You can see their exact totals here on the screen now, but in general every wooden piece of building has roughly 400 hit points, core wood has 500 hit points, and stone has around 1500 hit points on each piece. With a couple outliers like stake walls having 1000 hit points and the standard wooden pole fences having only 200 hit points. Before we jump into the walls, we will go over that building a moat is the most cost effective base defense since it is just hard labor and a pick. And a ground wall is the strongest defense in the game even though it costs quite a bit of stone because enemies cannot cross it nor damage it. But if you're not interested in terraforming or actually interested in the building strength and what walls come out the best, then we will go over that right now. Now that we know the health on the building pieces, we can figure out which one is most cost effective and strongest. I think the thing that I found most interesting is that the large stone 4x2 wall has 1500 hit points and so does the 2x1 and the 1x1, which means it does not matter what size of stone piece you use, they all get the same amount of hit points. So in terms of stone, the most cost effective is the 4x2 wall, however you're only getting 1500 hit points here for 6 stone, and if you spend more stone and go with 16 stone, you can use 2x1 walls and get 6000 hit points in the same area. If you spent even more stone and spent 21, in the same area of square footage, you would get 12,000 hit points of wall durability. Now a very important thing to keep note of and pay attention to when you're doing stone walls is for whatever reason, even if you're standing even with the wall, all the damage goes to the bottom piece of the stone wall if you have two stacked on each other, even though it sure looks like I should be hitting the top wall, which will make both pieces break. So even if you do stack your stone like this, there is a high shot that the bottom piece will be taking the damage and be no better than having a 4x2 section, other than having the two 1500 sections side by side. Now I like to think and hope that Grey Dwarf Brutes or Trolls, being much taller than the average Viking, would hit the top pieces first making it to where your wall actually does have increased hit points. But it's something to pay attention to and keep in mind as you build stone walls for defense. Now since our basic wooden wall has 400 hit points, and as I've done in previous videos like my mountain bunker, you can slide a stake wall into it currently and meld them together, and that has a thousand hit points. That means that the wooden wall here for only six wood would have 1,400, compared to the stone walls 1,500, making it a more cost efficient and easier to move wall system. Especially considering you can fit four of these stake walls in a four by three section, a little bit taller than the stone wall, but the same depth. And you are getting 5,600 hit points for only 24 wood. So this should definitely be considered whenever you are building walls as opposed to stone since they provide considerable defense for only a wood investment. A couple other things we find out due to the durability is that using the wood crosses as walls is no better than using a wooden wall themselves, other than the fact that they are rainproof since they only have 400 durability. A core wood log cabin would be noticeably more durable than a basic house, since each individual pole has 500 hit points compared to an entire section of walls 400 hit points. And the durability on an iron gate is not so much more than a regular gate that it is worth using in terms of base defense. But clearly the gate being iron does bring some stability and integrity bonuses with it. But it is accompanied by this terrible squeaking sound. So if you are going for the thinnest and most space efficient wall, go with the double stacked wood. If you are set on using stone and still saving cost, the 4x2 wall is the cheapest. However, it's also the weakest. Stacking other walls will get gradually more expensive and stronger. If you are fine taking up the same square footage as the stone, however, then double stacking the double stacked wood walls would still be the most cost efficient and be just slightly less durability. The best overall wall, in my opinion, is to stack stone, whether it's the 2x1s or the entire 4x2 wall, and then to place the stake walls on the front and the back of that 
and it does not take up much more space than a stone wall and gives you incredible amounts of durability. Each 2x1 section of this wall would absorb up to 5,000 damage, and the entire 4x2 section would absorb 10,000 damage. Now, if cost is of no consequence to you, or you're deciding you're just gonna build in creative mode and get your base defense up through admin commands, then the absolute strongest wall that you can possibly get is stacking iron beams really tight and neatly together. Each one of these iron beams has around 2,000 hit points. And since they take up such a small space, that means every five iron beams would be 10,000 hit points. And this would be the absolute strongest wall that you can build inside of Valheim. But there's only two ways to achieve this. Either using admin commands and creative mode, which means why are you even playing the game? Or building wall defense, just kill everything in your area. Or it means you've acquired enough iron to conquer the world of Valheim. And then why are you playing? This would take a ridiculous amount of iron to wall your base like this. Well guys, I hope that this wall durability test and information was helpful to you to help you get an idea of how you want to defend your base or what you would like to build in the area you have to either save as much space as possible or get the strongest defense possible. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.